Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion and Face. I hope that everyone is good. So for today's video, I am going to be showing you some of the coats and the jackets that I have in my wardrobe that I think that you guys should have for this autumn. So I absolutely love autumn and I feel like it is the jackets and the accessories that tie everything all together. Now with jackets, what I absolutely love about them is the fact that like just by wearing a different jacket can completely change your look and completely change your whole vibe. And I can't lie, I have like a thousand jackets. I have so many jackets. So yes, I just wanted to show you some of them that I think that you guys need for this autumn. And basically, I'm going to be wearing the exact same outfit but I'm going to be trying on all of the different coats just to show you guys the difference and just to show you guys that, you know, depending on the type of jacket that you have, depends on the kind of look that you, you know, that you have. And I absolutely love that. You could literally wear the same outfit <laughs> for the whole week, but just wear seven different jackets and no one would know because the jackets just make that huge difference. So let's jump straight into the video. I've done too much talking. <laughs> okay, so. The number one coat or jacket that you need to have on your list for this autumn is a trench coat. Classic, simple trench coat. Now obviously you can spice them up a little bit. So I'm gonna show you, I actually have three. <laughs> I have three different trench coats. So the first one, you would have seen this in one of my pre, it was my last haul that I'd done. Um, it is a leather trench and this is from weekday. <sighs> so cute so lovely really really love this jacket what i love about it is that the leather makes it just look that little bit more edgy it is giving us you know like catwoman vibes like it just makes me feel i don't know it just makes me feel sexy like whenever you wear leather you literally just feel like a boss okay rick ross move out of the way there's a new boss in town okay so yeah love the leather trench and i got it in black just to make sure that you know it can go with everything in my wardrobe it is just ugh, stunning okay stunning <laughs> and then the next one that i have this is from top shop and it is in a camel color this one is really really nice although i wore it the other day and it started raining and you could see all of the like rain marks in it i was like why why so like yeah it just didn't look that nice when it's wet so on days where it's not raining <laughs> i will wear this jacket probably the traditional color that everyone kind of goes for is either like a camel color or a, a black yeah this was the main reason why i decided to get the camel one because i was just like camel trench coats just look so buff and i saw this one and i was like yep gotta have it gotta have it so yeah, that is my second trench coat. And then the third one that I have, this is a green one. Oh, I just realized I don't have a black trench coat, that's fine. All of these colors, they're neutral colors anyway, so they will literally go with absolutely everything. So yeah, this one is a dark green color. This is from ASOS. And yeah, I really, really like this one. The one thing that I will say though, um, they are better obviously for autumn because well unless you get one that's got like a lining in it trench coats generally are quite thin apart from the leather one obviously that's going to keep you a lot more warm but with the two other ones that i've got they definitely don't do you know in terms of keeping us warm keeping us heated from within they don't necessarily do that so i would just say that you know just prepare your turtleneck tops <laughs> prepare your long sleeve tops because they yeah they can be quite thin but yeah absolutely love trench coats again because it's for autumn you don't necessarily need to have a trench coat that is going to keep you like super super warm like you would in winter for example so that's why i love trench coats for autumn okay so next up we have the jacket or should i say shacket that everyone has been raving on about it is one of the biggest trends of this autumn winter yes it is the shacket which is a shirt and a jacket combined to make a shacket now um the one that i've got i got this in a medium it is really really oversized it is from h&m but yeah i got another one from h&m but i got that one in a small and it's still oversized so i'll just say just be cautious like 
my one's a medium I definitely could have got you know a small and in the other one that I got from H&M I did get a small so yes just bear that in mind but yes guys the shacket love it whenever i wear it i do actually get compliments on it which is really really nice the two that i've actually got from h and i i'm not going to show you the other one that i've got because um i'm going to keep it for a haul that i've got coming a h&m and asos haul that i'm coming so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss that video okay yeah <laughs> so yeah um this one in particular i like it i like the color of it it is really warm it is quite thick um so yeah i really really like that about it i was a little bit wary of getting ones that had a bit more like color to them um i've seen one on zara's website it's green and i just thought to myself like mm, is that really what i want or will i get more wear out of the kind of like neutral you know this kind of uh like oatmeal color i feel like i'll get more wear out of that one so that's why i decided to you know stick with the h&m one and also that was probably the nicest one that i saw that was like a long line one so i don't know whether you guys have seen some people i'll insert some pictures um they've been wearing like the one that just about covers your bum i wanted a long line one so I'm really excited to actually style this. The thing is, with the jacket, um, the times that I've actually worn it, I've just worn it with jeans. But I was on Pinterest the other day and I've seen a lot of women styling it with dresses. So I've been looking, you know, on Pinterest for that inspiration on different ways that I can style it. And I think I might do a styling a jacket video. So um, yeah, if you are interested in me making that video, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely make that video. Okay, so moving on, we have leather jackets. Now, leather jackets, again, it's another staple. It's another classic, very similar to the trench coat in that leather jackets, they never go out of fashion. They will always be here. <clears throat> wow, my voice. So yeah, I've got this one. Well, I'll show you two two that I've got I like to you know give a bit of variety in my videos so um yeah the first one that I've got it is just a simple black one with like seal silver silver <laughs> with silver detailing on it really really nice it is from very and then I also have a blue one now I was gonna sell this jacket I had a woman that was ready to you know purchase it from me and then coronavirus happened and then I literally never heard from her again so I was just like oh okay and um, the other day I put it on and I was like oh maybe I should keep it I don't know I feel like I, I don't know I might keep it I don't know <laughs> but yeah it is a baby blue um, jacket it is from where is it from it's either from Bershka or Pull and Bear. I always get the two modelled up, but it was literally like, I think 30 quid. Yeah, so the blue one, that is faux leather, and then the black one that I've got, that is a real leather one. So that one cost 100 pounds, but I think that's quite cheap for a real leather jacket. Like most of the time to get a good quality one, it's probably about 150 to 200 quid. And I haven't had any issues with that jacket. Whereas I've bought leather jackets in the past from um, <clears throat> ASOS and it's literally started to like rub away and stuff like that and i didn't even wear it that much so yeah just be very careful when you're buying these leather jackets just make sure that the quality is really really good so again i love the edginess of leather jackets i also love the fact that like you can pair leather jackets with very like girly outfit to kind of like grunge them up a bit make them that little bit more edgy especially if you're not like a proper like girly girl who likes to wear like girly girl who likes to wear you know like the bright colors or the pinks and all of that stuff like wearing like a quite a feminine girly dress leather jacket on top the two kind of like um what's the word it creates a balance so that it doesn't look too feminine but then at the same time it doesn't look overly edgy as well so it's literally like the perfect balance i also love the fact that with leather jackets as well you can dress them down so i like to if i'm you know going out on like errands or stuff like that i'll literally throw on a tracksuit throw on a leather jacket and i'm good to go or even if you have like a hoodie on and then you've got your leather jacket on top and then like some jeans i think that that outfit looks really really good so yeah leather jackets they are 
ruining my video. So yeah, leather jackets, they are super, super versatile. So make sure that you have one in your autumn wardrobe. Okay, so moving on, we have, what do we have? I've forgotten. <laughs> Puffer jackets. Now, with puffer jackets, obviously they do the job in terms of keeping you warm, but I just love, I don't know, there's just something about a puffer that just, it reminds me of my youth, <laughs> firstly. I remember buying like 10 pound puffer jackets from Primark when I was like 15 years old. So crazy. But um, yeah, again, puffer jackets, I don't feel like they ever really go out of fashion either. Obviously they do a good job of keeping you warm and, um, yeah, again, what I love about them is that you don't have to... I think when people think of puffer jackets, they always think, like, you have to dress casually, but you actually don't. Like, a puffer jacket, a jumper, some jeans, and some, like, smart-ish boots, or, like, sock boots, for example, looks really, really nice. So don't be, you know, confused or feel like you can't wear more like smart ish stuff with puffer jackets you can obviously it would look a bit silly if you're wanting to wear something overly dressy with a puffer jacket some people can pull it off some people can't pull it off but um majority of the time like if you're wearing something overly formal puffer jackets aren't the way forward but don't be afraid to wear like boots and stuff like that and i mean like more smart boots not like casual boots like combat boots I mean more like sock boots or just like you know heeled ankle boots or even like heeled like over the knee boots or um knee high boots you can still get away with that with puffer jackets so this one that i've got i can't remember where it's from <laughs> i'll put it on the screen where it's from because i literally cannot remember but i absolutely love this puffer jacket i just feel like it just looks so cute it's got like um how would i describe it it's got like a high neck so basically if you was to do it all the way up like it will come up to like here but your neck's warm and i love that because my neck is forever cold and you know sometimes there's days where you don't necessarily want to wear a scarf because it's just too much going on so by getting a jacket like that at least you know if you do it up a little bit your neck will be kept warm so yeah really love this one it is quite oversized i probably could have sized down but again i don't mind that kind of oversized look especially when it comes to like autumn and winter jackets because you probably are going to be layering a lot underneath so you need to make sure that you've got that you know like wriggle room and enough space for when you've got like chunky knits on and that kind of stuff so yeah puffer jackets are a vibe and they are here to stay for this autumn winter <laughs> okay so moving on to number five i believe yeah i think it's number five we have like patterned coat so like a patterned formal coat for example so we've got hound's tooth dog's tooth are they the same thing hmm might have to google that and double check oh it's dog tooth when it's smaller okay that makes sense cool anyway so yeah just some form of patterned coat so like i said hound's tooth dog's tooth um like a check jacket or like a plaid um what else what other patterns are there i think those are the main ones that i would say are quite that are quite in and that also kind of um, don't go out of style whereas there's certain other patterns where it's a bit like not too sure so yeah the jacket that i'm showing you now it is kind it's it is basically a dog's tooth but it is quite small and it's all different colors where i know that like majority of the time when you think of like hound's tooth or dog's tooth you think of like a black and white pattern whereas mine it's like blue it's got brown in it as well so yeah it's completely different but again just having like a really nice patterned coat i feel like is such a vibe and also it's just a really nice way just to have fun with your coat like you don't have to always you know be boring or just stick to you know i need to get this color and i can't get any patterns like no as long as you get a classic pattern you'll definitely get your wear out of it and it you'll have it for years because you know it's not going to go out of fashion it's a classic so yeah really really like this jacket i got it from um zara uh last year in the sale or it was like special prices or something like that um but yeah they don't have it anymore but obviously you can just find similar jackets like if i find anything that's really really similar i'll link it in the description box for you guys so make sure that you check down there 
but yeah pattern coats are such a vibe and I really really like people that like to experiment and like try new things with their fashion um I don't really like people that are like overly uh boring and just stick to like oh I just can only wear neutrals like yes I get that like neutrals play their part because they do go with everything but I just prefer like when it comes to fashion I just prefer people that like to, you know, try different things, step out of their comfort zone and just like to have fun with, you know, the outfits that they are wearing. Okay, and moving on to the last coat slash jacket that you need in your wardrobe this autumn, it is just a formal coat. So either a single breasted or a double breasted coat or jacket. So I've got two to show you. I've got a black one and also a yellow one. And I believe that these are both from New Look and they were like, I think 35 quid each. So really, really good price. They're both single breasted um, and the black one, actually, to be fair, I think I've had both of these coats for about three or four years. Um, and yeah, I absolutely love them. The only thing with the yellow one though, because obviously it's yellow, if it gets dirty, it will show up very, very easily. But um, I've actually washed it in the washing machine before, like on the label, I'm sure it says, don't wash it in the washing machine, <laughs> take it to the dry cleaners. But I just thought to myself, I paid 35 pounds for you, for me to now go to the dry cleaners to pay 10 pounds for them to clean it. No, no, I'll put you in the washing machine. If you come out right, fantastic. If you don't, it's 35 pounds, I'll buy another one. You know, I know that sounds a bit like I'm wasting money, but do you get what I mean? Like a 35 pound coat and I'm bringing it to the dry cleaners make it make sense <laughs> so again these coats just you know an absolute classic you can dress them up you can wear them with like really nice boots you can wear these out you know like evening time with like heels and stuff like that but i love the fact that you can also dress them down they look really good with trainers they look really good with like boots you know combat boots chunky boots that kind of stuff they look really really nice with it and another thing that i like about them is that you again like with the leather jacket you can wear it with a tracksuit and it still looks nice. You still look relatively put together. So I know that there are some people out there that like to, you know, spend a lot of money when it comes to coats and stuff. And I 100% get it because, you know, sometimes when you do spend that extra bit of money, you do get, you know, value for what you've purchased. You know, it will last you longer, all of that good stuff. But I've personally found that even like when I'm, when you're looking at the like new look ones that cost 35 quid, like, they've lasted me well I still wear them they haven't gone all funny you know I've got another I've got a camel coat similar to the um, new look one but it's from Zara and that coat I literally had it for like a good few months and it went all bobbly under the armpits and I just thought to myself you know what that I'm not buying coats like that from Zara ever again and I noticed that it's done that on one of my blazers as well so Zara you're rude <laughs> But yeah, so some people like overspending, not overspending, but some people like to spend a lot more when it comes to their coats and jackets. But I personally have found that I don't really need to. Um, and ones that I haven't spent that much on have actually lasted relatively well. So yeah, maybe one day I'll invest, but as it stands right now, I'd rather spend that money on like a really nice designer bag. <laughs> coats like they're my thing but only if they're like under a hundred pounds <laughs> you know whereas bags I just feel like it's a little bit different but yeah with these coats I get wear out of them every single year I wear them for autumn winter and spring as well because you know sometimes spring can be a bit <laughs> bit cold so yeah i get a lot of wear out of these jackets and i'm really really glad that i purchased them so yeah i want to know actually let me see if um let me see if new look still actually sells them so they have similar coats they've got like a check one let's see the prices yeah so about 40 quid so hmm New Look are still selling very similar coats for a very similar price. So yeah, make sure you check out New Look's website because they do have some like nice formal coats on there basically. Okay then guys, so that is the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, 
please make sure to give me a like don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my forthcoming uploads you can also find me on instagram at fashion and face but yes guys i will catch you in the next video bye